Hey guys, welcome to my video. Uh, it's a little, little rainy, and noisy here, but just wanted to do a little experiment, to share with you guys. So, um, I just have this basic little window motor set up uh, with my brand new circuit that I have available on my website, little PCB Opto circuit, and this just has a, a neo magnet, and it's actually a trifiler wound coil, and I'm just using two wires, one for power, one for output, and. This is probably the simplest way to do um, a loop back safely. Um, other ways to do it is using transformers and stuff that works good. But um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to run this with the output going to the second battery. So right now it's going to the second battery. These are both 12 volts. And um, we'll see how that runs and then we're going to transfer this over so you can see the reduction in power. So let's, um, let's get this fired up. So we're about 1100 RPMs and we're using one amp and then energy return is 350 milliamps. So um, right now we're at about 35% energy return and yeah, it's running really nice. These um, circuits are really powerful. I have it kind of dialed to one amp, but it's really important um, on these circuits for these PWMs to where you can control the speed of the motor and the output because by using it, you're able to make it chop up and oscillate to get extra power back. So um, you really control this thing nice. It has a lot of power. It actually just slides on the table. So, but for today's experiment, what we're going to do is exactly one amp. So we're back to one amp. So let me shut this down, just leaving the pot where it is. And um, now we're going to transfer this over. So now we're going to wire this back to itself, so in a loopback configuration. So now the power is going to go back to the system and go to the motor and circuit, and the battery is going to supplement the rest. So let's, let's fire this back up. So same speed, about 1100 RPMs. And now we're using just a hair over half an amp. So. Um, we reduced it by by almost half and the motor still runs the same so these are basically two seven amp hour batteries in parallel so how the original configuration you'd be able to run this for 14 hours if the batteries were full charged and now it's double so that's really cool get a lot more runtime almost double and it's just a very simple little concept to make things work and um, I have these on my website, this, even this little filter that works really good. Um, it actually rectifies and filters energy because this motor has about 500 volt spikes coming out of it and you want to kind of filter it out before they go into these uh, batteries. These are lithium iron phosphate. So yeah, so just a basic little experiment that you guys think was interesting and hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.